everybody, and welcome back to another illegally cited Twitch stream. We are back for another E3 uh, conference coming up here momentarily uh, in about oh, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes tops. I figured I would chat a little bit uh, ahead of time and just uh, speculate what might, uh, what Microsoft might cover today and what I'd maybe like to see and uh, just, you know, chat a little bit about E3. Um, so yeah, originally, like I said, my plans for covering and streaming and archiving, um, I'm kind of playing it by ear. So again, this is just kind of a thing. Everyone's seeming to stream. So you know what? I'm just going to stream it for now and we'll just go with the flow. So yes, uh, we have, not only do we have a Microsoft Xbox and Bethesda showcase coming up here, um, but Microsoft also, like Ubisoft yesterday, has a audio described stream. So yeah, we have an audio described stream here. We are just waiting for it actually to go live. And uh, it's interesting because, you know, when they announced that uh, Microsoft essentially bought out Bethesda, and now they are under the Microsoft umbrella, or Xbox umbrella, essentially. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious how this is going to go. Like, are they going to mix them together? Are they going to start out with Bethesda and then go to Microsoft, or vice versa? Um, you know, what kind of games are they going to show? And these, you know, the last several years, these are shows that I have been um, quite excited and curious about for the last few years. You know, we've had Wolfenstein games, we've had Doom 2016, Doom Eternal, Fallout 4, um, yeah, Fallout 76, I have yet to play that, but uh, I've heard it's gotten better, and it, you can kind of play it like Fallout 4 now, but again... Uh, maybe eventually I'll get around to checking it out, but I just, I don't know. There's so many other games I got to play that, uh, you know, we'll see, but Fallout 76, we got Starfield on the way. I hope we get our first glimpse of gameplay. Like I sort of doubt that it's going to come out this year, especially with all the COVID and stuff, pushing things back. You know, we could be surprised. I mean, they have been working on it for quite a while, so God, I would be especially with Halo Infinite hopefully coming out. Um, well, I mean, they are, they are different. I mean, if it's going to be first-person, it's not, you know, a Fallout or a first-person RPG is still different from a full-blown first-person shooter a la Halo. So, I don't know. Um, either way, I would love to, to see some gameplay footage because I just want to know what the heck the gameplay in Starfield is going to entail, whether it comes out this year or not. Um, you know, of course, they said the next Elder Scrolls game is in development, um, but pff, that's not going to be out at least for another probably three years or better. That'll probably be a late uh, current gen or next gen, however you want to look at it, uh, game. It's going to be at least two, three years out, I would have to imagine. Um... I wonder if we'll get something for Wolfenstein 3, um, because like I said, you can't end the modern reimagining, especially with how batshit crazy uh, the story in Wolfenstein 2 was. You can't end it and not fight Mecha Hitler. It, it's just, you, you can't. You can't. That is the most memorable thing of the original <clears throat> Wolfenstein 3D. And then they had that, like, death cam. Let's see that again. And then, you know, that yeah, you, you, you have to. It'd be really funny if they did, like, an homage to, like, once you killed Mecha Hitler and it kind of did, like, a modern version of, let's see that again, just as an homage to capture, uh, to cap off the modern Wolfenstein trilogy. That'd be great. That's what needs to happen. I wonder if they're going to talk about Elder Scrolls Blades. I used to play it, but I I really haven't played it in quite a long time. Probably, I might have looked at it once or twice in the past year. 
Um, you know, I was, there's a problem where I'm leveling up my character, but like the main, the couple quests that I have unlocked, they don't, the enemies are just like super powerful and, you know, even with my upgrades and everything, for some reason, it's just not, I just get massacred. And so something either I didn't level correctly or I'm missing something or what have you. And, you know, again, you've got your chest, you've got your timers, you've got your currencies. It, it's a mobile game. You know, what, what else can I say? I mean, for what it was, you know, doing the abyss runs and, and doing the quest, it, it did keep me entertained for quite a while. You know, I remember playing that quite a bit, uh, listening to other things. And, you know, when Riley was up here, I still played it some. But, like I said, I have not played um, Blades in... Pff, I haven't even fired it up on my new iPad to see if how, how it runs or if it loads any faster or whatever. I should probably do that. But uh, check into it. I saw, I don't know, maybe they'll have some announcement with that. Um, who knows? Bethesda. Um, I don't know what else they might do. You know, uh, maybe they'll do some sort of, probably some sort of Doom Eternal update thing of like, oh, we're patching this in or we're adding or changing this or something. With, I, don't, I don't know. I'm sure there'll be something with Doom Eternal. Um... I really need to go back to that because I liked a lot of a lot of what Doom Eternal did, but the platforming and stuff, and then all the other crap, and you know, really looking forward to it, and then with all the platforming and kind of getting lost, and kind of some of that was a little bit frustrating from low vision perspective, and then you know, of course, being um, you know the whole like, oh hey, we're really looking forward to this, and then. Uh, doing the whole breakup thing right around that time. That sucked. That didn't help any. So, yeah. I'll get back to it one day. Microsoft. Um, that's where I'm very curious because Sony's, you know, they've got a few exclusive under their belt now. They've got Returnal. They've got Ratchet and Clank. They have the Spider-Man games. Um... They have uh, Godfall, which I know people are hating Jesse on. Jesse 123. Hi there, Jesse. Hey, how you doing? Just waiting for uh, Microsoft to start here. Audio described. Kind of speculating on what we might get. But uh, yeah, Sony, <clears throat> they've done a lot of things. Uh, I know people give hate to Godfall, but um, I rather... I got to get back to it, but I rather enjoyed it so far of what I've played. Um they announced like a little bit of an update they're going to be doing for that later this year, but I want to see what Microsoft has. They've been buying up studios. Jesse of 123. I hope to get in Box X one day. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. I, I, it really depends because so many things are going to come to PC if I get my PC upgraded. But especially as I'm doing more of this accessibility work and if, I, if, if it leads into testing and whatnot, I might just have to get a Series X as well at some point here. Um, but, you know, Microsoft has really been buying up studios left and right, and, uh, you know, they've been uh, doing it for a while. And so this year, I think, has to be the year where Microsoft just really kills it and says, hey. Jesse of 123, I hope we get another update to KI Just Wishing. Yeah, that would be all right, actually. Um, KI, that was a surprisingly fluid game, and I really should have played more of that than I did. Um, but you know, we have all these developers and, um, I'm just curious what, Jesse of 123 or even accessible Forza, you know, I have to think that's going to be in the cards. I really am genuinely curious. Cause I talked to, when I went in person to the 2019 GA conf, uh, I talked to some guys at the Forza from Forza development and they are totally interested in it. So whether it gets into this for into this game or not, um, honestly, if it wasn't for The Last of Us, Forza would be the series that I kind of thought might be one of the first to really include full blind accessibility. I do have a feeling it's going to happen, and I I hope I'm right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of want to see. I want to see how the update for Halo Infinite is, of course. I want to see 
Um, the Snowa's sequel, that could be interesting because that development team seems to be really good. I want to see what they're going to do with Perfect Dark. I love the N64 version. Perfect Dark Zero was... Eh, the main thing that had going for it is I love the arrows on the ground that were pointing to the objective. That was a really cool, low vision-y thing that no other game really did for me for years. But I didn't like the new look of Joanna Dark. She just... Ugh. I didn't... She just looked weird. Like, I liked her in the N64 game, but uh, just... The whole story and just something seemed a little weird about it. The shooting was okay, but I would like to see what they're going to do. I maybe will get some Fable. I would love to see a first gameplay tease of Fable. Because, I man, an open world, actual Fable game where you're not just on these paths like you were in the first games. Bring back the dog. Bring back the breadcrumb trail. I'd love to see that. Um, like you said, Forza, um, you have to imagine they'll at least show some sort of graphical teaser. I, I don't know if we'll get a Forza this year. I know they said they were taking time to basically rethink some things and stuff. So I don't know if we'll get a Horizon or if we'll get a main four is a game this year or if it'll be 2022 i don't know i'm going to refresh the page just in case like the actual video started um we're just going to make sure okay we're good and this is uh, audio described so just like ubisoft yesterday good job microsoft providing that stream so when they do these sizzle reels or titles at the end, I'll actually be able to know what they are. Yay. Um, I, I'm trying to, I, maybe we'll get some Psychonauts release date. That would be good. Psychonauts 2. That'd be good. Because they own them now, I think. Aren't, don't, don't they own Double Fine? I can't remember. Microsoft has bought up so many studios that I can't remember... Who they all even own anymore? Um, there's been talk about like a, almost like a Chrome, a Chromecast Xbox thingy that you can just plug into your TV and stream via their Xbox. Um, oh, what do you call it? Not Game Pass, but basically their Xbox streaming service, Cloud uh, Xbox Live Cloud or something like that. I forget exactly the name of it. That could be kind of cool, you know, you got your Stadia-esque sort of a thing, you know, I've got my Elite controller right here already. Um, that could be, the only problem is bandwidth, all these damn ISPs capping your bandwidth, uh, they really, I don't know, somebody's got to step in and just make them knock it off, because internet has become such a like utility right now that it just everybody I don't know I gotta check after this weekend after Tuesday I gotta check out my internet usage for this month because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream much after like if the, the next weekend after E3 <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream much for the rest of the month because I need to make sure I have bandwidth for work and um I don't want to necessarily go over any overages, but, you know, downloading Ratchet and Clank and other Steam games and demos and streaming and uploading and uh, all this stuff. And we're not even at the 15th of the month yet, so I don't know if there's going to be a lot of streaming with the second half of June. Just a fair warning, guys. <clears throat> But we are like one minute out, so any moment now, if they start right at noon. I should also mention that um, the Square Enix show is right after this. I don't know if they're going to overlap, because they said it looks like they'll be at like 1.15 my time, and it's going to be noon when they start here at Xbox. Um, my guess with both companies, you know, Bethesda, Xbox, it's going to be about an hour and a half at least. So I might have to go back and watch the square one later because I have a feeling, unless that gets pushed back, um, you know, we got Square Enix, 
So I probably won't stream that if it doesn't work out right. Um, but then we have the PC gaming show and the future game show, which I probably won't stream, but again, I'll do like a video summary tomorrow morning of all the events and announcements and things. So... <clears throat> it sounds like on Twitter, <coughs> we already got confirmed they're going to show some more retro shooters and that, oh, what is it called? The Thief game. It's not Thief, but it's uh, Gloomwood. We're going to get to see that at the PC Gaming Show. I, I, I did a video on the demo for that. It's pretty good. Looking forward to seeing more. Oh, here we go. Full screen, baby. <clears throat> All right, one minute and 53 seconds. And holy hell, that's loud. There we go. Turn that down a little bit. Um, you, you'll be fine, but on my headphones, it's pretty loud. All right, sweet. What are they going to open with, guys? What are they going to open with? Will it be a Bethesda game? Will it be where they kick off with Halo right away? What are they going to do? One minute and 25 seconds. We're just about to find out. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic. Like I I love what Phil Spencer is saying. Like they're doing everything with Game Pass is awesome. There'll probably be, probably be some Game Pass exclusive announcements. Like oh, this is going to come out at launch. Um, Game Pass is just killing it. Uh, even if you have a PC, get Game Pass Ultimate because a lot of things come to. Xbox One, Series X, and PC. You just go to the Windows Store and you're signed in with your Microsoft account. And I've downloaded many a game that way and tried them out. So, yeah, they're doing a lot of the right things. Now they just got to get their exclusives like Sony and Nintendo have. So, come on, Microsoft, let's do it. Let's show us something cool. I am ready. And in 20 seconds, apparently so will they be. So, what are they going to open with? That is the question. Five, four, three, two, one. Audio describe. Let's do this. U.S. Canada. Rating pending to mature 17 plus. All right. ESRB.org. International ratings yep. read 18 plus. The Xbox logo flashes with a series of illuminated green and white circles spinning around it. I like the Xbox logo. I really rotate outside the circles. An original Xbox sits on a pedestal. I miss that original X. Xbox boot up sound. I love that. People in a crowd hold glow sticks in the shape of X's. A woman holds up a fan fest lanyard. I wish they'd bring that back. That boot up sequence somewhere. Five. A man plays Forza Motorsport with a steering wheel. Four. A man in a crowd holds up a scarf adorned with an Xbox logo. Three, two. Okay, we gotta do yep, another countdown, a little hype. Okay, it's Xbox a little loud. Xbox and now. Bethesda 2021 games showcase. 2021, here we go. White lights illuminate a black stage. Okay, they're going right to the years. stage. They're not going to do a That's trailer how first. Long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. I love seeing the new Todd game. Todd My fingers from okay. my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everybody around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you. For being with us today and thank you for the support you give us and one another xbox is turning 20 and i would not god be i'm here old if it wasn't for the friendship <laughs> we've had that whole time at wow. says that we i remember when that was do one thing better than anything i else. remember when the original halo came out us. through art and technology there's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own i was in college back the then Elder Scrolls, good god man and now for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe. With oh, give us some gameplay. It's an epic about hope. That's what you open with. And answering our greatest mystery. 
We it's just got a logo in the back. Plan. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard to work at home to make that dream a reality. And please tell me you've We're updated your engine because your current teaser and something to look forward to. Your current Todd gameplay Howard, is jank. Game your, your engine Alpha is kind of jank. Creation engine two. Okay. From the award-winning creators of Skyrim and Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. A brand new universe 25 years in the making. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Game Studios. I don't want to be disturbed. There we go. Inside a dark room in a spaceship, a light illuminates a ladder and a variety of mechanical equipment. The shadow of an astronaut crosses through the light. Okay. The astronaut climbs the ladder into a control room. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part mm -hmm. of Constellation now. Part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. The just, astronaut enters a cockpit and looks out at a rocky planet. Just by the way they said this is all a teaser. This is definitely not coming out this year, I bet. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. The machine walks under the spaceship's cockpit. That's why we're here. Okay. The spaceship lifts off to discover what's out there. God, that voice actress sounds so familiar. The screen on the control panel reads 11, 11, 22. Oh, really? 11, 11, 22. There's your release date. Oh, man, it's like two Xbox years away. Games, Xbox Series X, S. Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Starfield, Xbox Exclusive. There's 11, 11, oh, 22. They're still going Day with our Xbox, Xbox One. Huh. Okay, and it is Xbox Exclusive. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games I want to see gameplay from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking game, and yes. It's exclusive. Welcome uh -huh. to the Xbox and Bethesda game. Year and a half games. away. I am so excited and proud to be here today celebrating games. Because although it's been an incredibly tough year, I am grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. Amen. We are committed to forging the next era of gaming, conjuring worlds never before possible unlocking play across all devices and delivering the power of games to everyone and now we get to share that quest with bethesda not just as partners but as one team united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere so today we get to reveal more of what's to come goody we have an amazing show 30 titles 27 in xbox game pass and of Ooh. course Every single console title you'll see today is wow. optimized for Xbox Series X and S. Make them available. <laughs> then I'll maybe buy one. Features. We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next is something truly riveting. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World. Stalker. Two. Oh. Coming first to Xbox Series consoles and PC. Okay. This will be a true next-gen experience. <sighs> targeting 4K I... and ray tracing. Let's take a look. I tried the original and Stalker and it kind of went over my head. It's a first-person shooter that is Light flashes across a steel door at the end of a dingy hallway. Kind of nuts, but Game world. Subtitles, curly video, God, he's playing so good. Men sit around a campfire. Leolic, hey, how was it? Skiff, they are all gone. 
Curly video. Serves them right. <laughs> nice large subtitles. Me time. Thank you. Many stalkers owe you their lives. Curly video. Come on. Man. Spill it. An attachment is twisted onto the barrel of a machine gun. Oh, okay. Oh. A player who is Skiff picks up ammunition and a scope. Skiff attaches the scope to the machine gun as he enters a burned out warehouse. Enemies in the distance are shown through the scope. Skiff tosses a grenade. Looks pretty good. Subtype. Granted. That's why I stay away from any skirmishes. Don't want to catch a bullet. Subtitle. Skip. I don't know. Between an anomaly and a bullet, I'd rather choose the latter one. A mutated pig spins into the air and explodes. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that was the remnants of a scorched field of vegetation. Interesting. He carries a device in his left hand that has an antenna and a small orange screen. He trudges over the muddy ground, tossing small red items as he walks. Numbers flash on the device screen. Skiff approaches a puddle and picks up a glowing blue rock. What the Subtitle. Curly video. I can almost see the beauty you speak of. I'm no rookie to the zone. Got used to it. Yet, she surprises me every single day. I have a bad feeling this game is not going to be audibly accessible. You can never get used to the zone. In the zone. If it's all in a foreign language, if it's in Russian. Subtitle. Skiff. They say you know the way to the basement. Bolshak. Hush. Hush. Bolshak gets up from the desk and turns away from Skiff. Bolshak wears gray overalls and a dark beanie. He steps I can away this from the cabinet. The audio described, I think, it's a synthesizer. Bolshak waltzes by himself in a large, heavily damaged room. I can kind of tell. The window is broken behind him. A burned out building and a few trees lie beyond the window. It's Skiff, not bad, though. Curly video. Did you hear it? That's the man of culture. And you? The same tune over and over again. Leolik, you're the one who's asking. I graduated from the music school, by the way. Curly video. Oh, monsieur, my sincere apologies. Consider joining the scientists? Suits you well, professor. Maybe you'll even get your own lab. <laughs> if, if they would just containing several large glass cabinets, have the text-to-speech speak any subtitles like they're doing in this video, during the game, that would be great. Skiff shoots the monster. A bald humanoid with tentacles dangling from its jaw appears in front of Skiff. Oh wow! Oh, you, you're an ugly-looking dude. Video mimics the monster. Leo, get off, Mitai. Don't treat your friends like that. You take him along to your forays, after all. Curly video. If anything, there is no friendship in the zone. Skiff, agree. Subtitle. Stranger. Did he suffer? Skip. No. Stranger. Good. He did not deserve it. Skip. And the bullet was well deserved? It's a shame you treated him like that. Stranger. I know. You don't think I wasn't looking for ways to spare his life? She couldn't be free unless he died. But now, just look at her. No skip. I'm not giving her to anybody. The zone lent me a life, a new life, the one I am prepared to return. Hmm. It's a good, good mixture of story and gameplay snippets. I will protect her. Always. Ooh, laser. Yeah, energy weapon, like a rail gun. He walks through rubble toward a large tower, engulfed by bolts of electricity. Subtitle: Curly Vidya. Wow. PDAB. Skip. Seems like I need to go. Leo, what's your next stop? Skip. Pripya. Need to talk to him. Skip stands up beside the campfire. Subtitle. Sergi. Good hunting stalker. Stalker 2. Heart of Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. Xbox Game Pass. Xbox Series X. S. Windows 10 PC. Xbox Cloud Gaming. April 28, 2022. Play okay. With Xbox Game next Pass. year. Next gen only. That one can't handle the Four old gen. Walk through a dark, damp warehouse illuminated only by lights on their rifles. Okay, what's a this? The shadowy creature runs across a catwalk above them. The soldiers are attacked by the zombie-like creature. A soldier oh. swings a large wooden club at the creature. 
WB Warner Brothers game. What is this going to be? Rock oh, back for blood. We're surviving here. Rebuilding. Five is not enough. We've got to fight. Now we don't need to do anything. All right, when was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? <laughs> Shooting, slashing dudes. Oh, I do want to play this. The game player shoots a monster, then loads a shotgun. Let's go! You're here! Come on! God, I love Mondays. This fall. God, I want this. Another player shoots a crowd of zombies and a large creature. A zombie's head explodes from a shotgun blast. Text reads, team up with four player co -op. Yep. My only worry is reading all those cards. That's my main worry about this game and the financial stuff. Human versus zombie. I have con shoots a zombie spewing green dude. I have concerns, but I still really want to play this. Let's make it count! It's fun as hell. A monster with sharp bloody teeth stands in front of a wall of flames. Back Ooh. Door Blood, October 12, Xbox Series X. Yeah. S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Nice. Xbox Game Studios presents Xbox Console Exclusive. Okay. The needle of a record player lowers onto a spinning record. The label in the center of the record reads, Xbox Game Studios. <laughs> a cassette player sits Good next tune. to the record player on a desk. The cover of a record album reads, in partnership with Avalanche Studios. A uh, pink lava lamp illuminates cassettes and brass knuckles on the desk. Military what is this radio gonna be? And a real be? tape machine sit on another desk. A hand-drawn map sits on a table in the middle of the room. I have an idea? But I could be totally wrong, so I'm not going to say. Good tune. Now we'll get copyrighted because of this song. La 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 la. Now we'll get claimed because of this stupid song. I like the song, it's fine, but... I just want to know... What is this game going to be? It's obviously a teaser. Almost reminds me of like a Fallout sort of. Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Series X, S, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Contraband. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Huh. Okay. Xbox Game Studios presents Sea of Thieves. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I wonder if it'll be a update or a sequel. Cause they're cranking away on that. Over an island with jagged mountainous terrain. Several pirate ships sail toward the island. I forgot about Sea of Thieves. A line of small islands are surrounded by the sea. An ill wind blows from beyond the horizon. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the sea of the damned. Now to save the pirate life. You must start by saving the life of one. A man inside a cell waves a bone mm -hmm. at a dog who is holding a ring of keys in its mouth. Oh. Didn't realize we had company. Three pirates approach the cell. Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, I, I wonder. You already knew that. Rare. Disney. Huh. Because of the treasure Jack stole, a darkness okay. here. And if it's not stopped, This would be like a single player adaptation of Sea of Thieves. Many secrets. I can get behind this. All I can do is show you the way. Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, I hear the so-called Sea of Thieves 
It's nothing but curse true. Bloodthirsty mermaids. Huh? A legion of dead, angry pirates. Oh yes. And now one Davy Jones. A ghostly pirate ship rises from the sea. Huh? Cool. Oh! Well, I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. Cannons are fire. A world without the attack. I wonder if this will be just single player or like co like a co or a co-op. Probably a co-op experience, I would guess. Jack Sparrow and another pirate run from waves crashing through a town. The pirate pulls a glowing branch from a This tree. could work. The branch shoots a ball of energy at a monster. I don't suppose, by chance, there's a second one of those? Jack slides through a watery tunnel, then bursts out and splashes into a cave. An underwater clock tower is destroyed. A bolt of lightning strikes a ghost ship. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Hmm. Bring me that horizon. Skeleton pirates do an island yeah. that floats into blue flames. Sea of Thieves, the pirate's life, an epic original story. Come cool. Come Sea of Thieves, June 22nd. Xbox Game Pass. Oh, Xbox wow. X, S, That's coming Xbox soon. One, Windows 10 PC. Like literally Xbox a week and a half Xbox from now. Available now with Xbox Game Pass. Oh, the shh. Mainline Yakuza Saga. Yakuza 0. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, wow. A man opens a cardboard box. I wish hey, those... <sighs> Yakuza, like a dragon. Let's do this! A man oh. a glowing sword. Reputation is everything. Wait, if like a dragon? Weakness, he's done. Is that the only one in English? Giant glowing lobsters fall from the sky. A woman wields a telephone like nunchucks. Because... A chef hits a man with a frying pan. Like Yakuza. Wear diapers. What the... Happy birthday! A man is attacked with an exploding hit. One through six were all in Japanese audio. An Elvis impersonator pours a giant bottle of champagne. Oh shit, I might have to try. Out of an exploding garage. Yakuza, like a dragon. Available today. Cool. I mean, it's turn-based, but captured live in -game I would give it a shot players. for free. A player aims a machine gun at a rising rocket. The player okay. runs through a battlefield. Dice. Oh. The are back. Oh, is this going to be battlefield? The player aims a machine gun out of the helicopter. We push them back, but not far enough. Yeah, I think they said they were gonna cover this more at the Xbox event the other day, so... I love the idea of these games. Huh. <laughs> the player fires a machine gun from the edge of the crane. A plane flies toward a burning stadium. The machine gun is aimed at a helicopter. A tank is parachuted onto a battlefield. The tank rolls through the battlefield. A massive explosion appears in the distance. The player fires the tank's turret at ATVs. Looks pretty good. The player drives an ATV through the battlefield. A burning ATV flips in front of a... I'm just not going to be able to see enemies versus friends, though. That's my main issue with these games. The player fires a machine gun at a helicopter. It crashes into the skyscraper. It's pretty damn impressive looking though. It's it's looking good even on the, the YouTube stream. Three soldiers ride in an elevator inside the skyscraper. A weapons menu appears in front of the player. The player runs along a rooftop carrying a remote control. An RC car drives off the rooftop and into a helicopter. <laughs> the helicopter is cool. <laughs> the player rides a zipline between two skyscrapers. They fire Wee. a machine gun at enemies as they arrive on the rooftop of the oh second God, skyscraper. that looks... That looks the really freaky. The machine gun at a helicopter, then leaps off the building. They fall past a shower you of crazy bastard. Fire. The player in front of them dodges gunfire as they glide between skyscrapers using a wingsuit. Ugh. The nope. Player steers a parachute. That would they scare the bejesus out of me. Out of a helicopter. The battlefield is red and smoky. Soldiers parachute through the smoke. The helicopter crashes into the player. Enter the next era. This looks crazy. Experience all out war. Fight on an ever changing battlefield. 
The player races toward the rocket as it lifts off from a spaceport. The player parachutes near the rocket. Huh. Battlefield 2042, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, coming October 22nd, 2021. Oh, wow. Dance, Electronic Arts. Okay. Frostbite. All right. Console launch exclusive. Annapurna Interactive. Oh, they're just going from one to another here. Antonio. So they're not. How was your day? They're not messing around. Oh, 12 minutes. What is this, my birthday? We're having a baby. Are we getting a release date? What's going on? Shut up! You know what this is. This game just sounds fascinating. This time, I should never have to you. I'm out of patience. What? I know I say this a lot, but. Oh, 8, 19, 21. It's a lot too, but I catch up. 12 minutes. August 19th, 2021. Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Nice. Xbox Game Studios. Presents. Okay. Great. Approaching the mother I can't believe I'm really here. Psychonauts. Look at all these gadgets. Yes. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. From the genius minds at Double Fine. Are we going to get a release date for this? Giant teeth that grasps an aquatic runs past a hospital and flips away from a monster who crashes his fists into the ground. Time for justice! A monster. Oh, J.K. Simmons sounds grass. like. He leaps over it. Head exploration. The fate of the free thinking world is in your hands. Raz runs through a giant pinball machine. Oh, cool. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. Raz runs the top of the rolling ball. Mm. The oh, they have that power up again. Okay. Uh, Thought Crobatics. Thought Crobatics. I wish the first game played a little bit better. Because I tried playing it like a few years ago, and it was just I wanted to do a video for it, but I'm going to ignore that last part. It just didn't. It was a little jank to play on PC. Ooh. Cool. August. Perfect. A white Bethesda logo is illuminated on a white grid alongside the black stage. All right, we're getting some this good games the here. When I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase, we love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Yeah, Along with Bethesda no Game Studios, play, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass Damn. for a total of 30 Bethesda games. Ooh, Arx Fatalis, I like that game. Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another mm. reason to play it, Doom Maternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Okay. Powered by IdTech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Maternal. And on Series X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Sure. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks its 10th anniversary this November. God, 10 can't years already? It without you. So share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, Man. and more on Skyrim10.com. Or explore an ever-changing post-apocalyptic wasteland in Fallout 76. Everything you love about Fallout games. Custom camp building, rich Oh, is that on Game Pass now? Unique characters, places to oh, that might give me incentive to actually try it. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass. Thanks to an oh, it is already. <laughs> collaborative community. Shows how much I knew. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Pete Hines. Okay. Bethesda Softworks. Soldiers wearing camouflage run across a battlefield. Soldiers wearing metallic armor shoot lasers. Brotherhood of Steel are the guardians of human civilization. A soldier wearing huh. fires a rifle. Fort Atlas is safe. 
It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. Uh, faction stuff. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. A player fires a machine gun. You're splitting our forces, Shin. The most important thing is finding every Another sort of line of storyline quests. So it comes to this. A soldier wears metallic armor adorned with the stars and stripes. I'm trying to remember if you understood what that insignia meant. Did Fallout 76 use the VATS system? Or no paladin of the Brotherhood? I can't remember. I set this plan in motion, and I am the only one who can stop it. Choose justice. The Brotherhood of Steel must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. Or choose duty. Well, it may seem hmm. to be a factor. I believe that we are now stronger than ever. Decide the fate of the Brotherhood. This is a choice that can never be undone. Hmm. Fallout 76. Steel Rain. Available July 7th. Free for Fallout 76 players. Okay. What the hell was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report. Over. Squad Delta, um, what's going on out there? What is this gonna the be? Holds a combat radio. Come on. This is funny. I know you can hear me. The pilot sits inside the cockpit of a crashed helicopter. <laughs> The helicopter sits amidst the rubble of destroyed brick buildings. Rubble is piled up in front of a destroyed brick wall. This is a coming. sign reads, Welcome to the pit. State of Independence. Visit PA. Enjoy your stay. Fallout 76 oh. Expeditions. The Pit. 2022. Okay, okay. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an amazing community. Sure. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online. Oh, I, you know, I keep forgetting about that. players and shows no signs of slowing down. I can't remember if that's right now, only paid subscription or if there's a free tier. Of the Gates of Oblivion, your long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. I should try this. The ESO console enhanced this Tuesday. The game will deliver a true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. I just don't know if fireballs out of a village. I don't know if there's still a month if there's a monthly fee for this or world. Thousands of stories, millions of players. Cause I think that's what kept me from trying it. Under an archway on a stone bridge. A group of knights ride horses and other creatures past a monster skeleton. Round lights circle around a portal. A dragon flies into the portal. A huge monster has sharp teeth, dead eyes, and horns protruding from the side of its face. I could get into some more Elder Scrolls. Any way you like. The massive award-winning RPG optimized for Xbox Series X S. Mm-hmm. Warriors, archers, knights. I'm probably playing on PC, but inside an inn. A piece of parchment hangs on a wall. The Elder Scrolls Online. Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Series X, S. Okay, it is Xbox on Game Pass. Live, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. I console launch exclusive. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. It's a new world with new rules. <laughs> now, nothing is off the table. The Honest the Trailers Star guy will take a new breed of fighter. A walrus falls from a plane. Wait. Uh. Uh. A dog scratches its rear end. Uh, if you don't follow the Honest Trailers channel, follow it. It's great. The dog and the bunny sing. The dog drops a rock onto the bunny. What in God's name is this? Text reads: Pick your fuzzy fighter. The dog wields a crossbow. Okay. New dinosaur off a platform. Text reads. Crawl across wild multiplayer mode. A gorilla pushes the tiger off the ledge. This looks like dumb fun. With a gummy bear. <laughs> what? The dog pushes the dinosaur down a trap door. The tiger tases several animals singing on a stage and steals their microphone. 
<laughs> I'm still trying to process this. I totally didn't expect this. The octopus tentacle swats an otter. The dog hits the dinosaur with a frying pan. The text reads, party like an animal. All of the animals sing and dance together on I'm stage. St the animals fall from a plane. I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Day one with Xbox Game Pass. I'm not quite sure I understand what that is, but it looks weird and it's Game Pass, so a sure, why not? At a gray snake -like Who is this? Earned 50 plus Game of the Year awards. The Game Awards. Oh. oh, this is coming to Game Pass, Hades. Stupid boy, I told you no. Oh, I really got to get back into this. This game is good. A warrior races through a 2.5D style dungeon. He blasts energy beams from his sword. I love the story and the dialogue in this game. Was that not already on Xbox? Console launch exclusive. Huh. Jump ship. I an aerial view shows a car huh. traveling along a four-lane road at night. Was that only a PS4 and PC game? Of the, road. the full moon glows over a house standing beyond a short stone wall. Snow covers the ground. A mountain range is on the horizon. Inside the house, a man, woman, and young boy are asleep on a blue couch. A dog sleeps at their feet. It is daytime. A flatbed trailer is jackknifed on a street. Several other vehicles are abandoned. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the this might dog be. Run desolate farmland. The man walks through a swamp, across a log stretched across a canyon, through a cave, and through a mine shaft. 2D? He swims underwater holding a green flare. The man and dog approach the edge of a cliff. The family run as giant metal stakes fall from the sky uh, and the around them. Almost looks... It's a the man lies unconscious inside a It's a 3D destroyed. environment. The family run through a church as laser blasts fire at them But it looks up. 2D. Oh, did they announce this? The family is asleep on their blue cap. I think we saw a teaser of this at some at point. Feet. Like last year. The boy awakens and sits up abruptly. Oh. Summerville, 2022. Oh, maybe Xbox not. Series X. S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Huh. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Sure. This holiday marks the 20th anniversary of Xbox. Mm -hmm. And the 20th anniversary of Halo. Okay, to I knew we had to be getting there, yep. Fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without all of you. Our goal has always been to bring players together. And for the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. What? Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you oh, than ever okay. before to become a Spartan hero. Huh. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. From helping I figured they would the end with Halo this. Combat Evolve, to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST. Joseph is a Halo vision. Because I don't think we've gone through 30 so games so far. We've gone through a lot, but. Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds. The funny a grunts. And mysterious sci fi world. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring the largest, most wide-open environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. Joseph Staden, head of creative for Halo Infinite 343 Industries. A spaceship flies over tall trees growing in a vast mountain valley. I'm curious to see what... If they have to show updated gameplay. They have to. The heart of Halo is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. Yep. 
In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet. But you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. Cortana. We're stuck out here. Master Chief floats through outer space amidst large pieces of debris. He pushes aside debris as he scans his surroundings. He floats past a dead body. You have one bullet against an entire army. What can you do on your own? I told you. It's enough. So I see. Master Chief tosses aside a creature as he floats backward and crashes into a small spacecraft. A pilot is motionless inside the cockpit of the spacecraft. Huh. Okay, so... Uh... Cortana! Got the assault rifle. Master Chief carries a battle rifle. Master Chief pulls himself onto a space station with a grappling hook. He falls unconscious. Okay. Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. Um... So if it wasn't you... Okay, then. Huh? <laughs> I don't. Else. I don't know this. I didn't ever beat Our Halo Five, so. My deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Master Chief removes a memory card from the back of his helmet and holds it in front of a hologram of a woman. The hologram touches the card and disappears. Master Chief ah, okay. places the card back into yep. his helmet. Yep, jumping his head again, okay. Yep. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series uh... X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. Okay. A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are okay. unstoppable. <clears throat> if they're showing Fire Halo now, they've got something the big to end the show. Or another Spartan run through an indoor facility with okay. Here we got some gameplay. Here we the got some gameplay. Using a grappling hook. No scope. The player punches an enemy and fires a laser cannon at another. Uh, this looks all right to me. A Spartan leaps off the tower, swinging a gravity hammer. Oh, the hammer's great. A Spartan is shot on a catwalk. The I love the hammer. A courtyard, firing a machine gun and tossing grenades. Well, you have to have that announcer. It's not the same without him. Nice. Yep. Vehicle jacking. There you go. I really want to know what accessibility is going to be in this. Ordnance drop inbound. A red revenant vehicle is dropped from a ship. A Spartan is shot in the head. A Spartan dives into the revenant. The revenant flies over the force, then fires at enemies as it flies over a base. The flag is off. A Spartan carries a red uh, red flag. Yep. Please call at your earliest convenience. The Spartan <laughs> the what? drives an ATV off the boulder. It's a warthog, man. Or you got. Or I thought I saw a warthog and then an ATV. Oh, yeah. Show me what you can do. The player wields a glowing blue energy sword. Oh, man. This is going to be Game Pass, too, man. Halo Infinite. Multiplayer. Free to play. 
Halo Infinite, Epic Campaign, Halo Infinite, Holiday 2021, Xbox Game Pass, ah! Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. So we don't have a release date yet, just holiday. November something more than likely. Crawls past a jail cell door. A man wearing a cape opens the door. God, I thought they would end with Halo. Has survived. A man carries a torch. A dark figure wanders in I the really east. wonder what they're Bats gonna have fly now. Past the man as he enters a dark dungeon. He must be stopped. At all costs. The man's head burns and deforms. Ow. On 92321. Ooh. The player runs the through this? a 2.5 D perspective dungeon surrounded by enemies. Text reads, The Lord of Action RPG. Oh, Dia. Oh, sure. Diablo. The player. That's what I thought that when that, that for series X, S, up to 4K 60 FPS. Okay. With cross progression. The player fights sure. enemies through dungeons in the village. Weapons and magic turn and electrical enemies. Oh yeah, cut through lots of dudes. The player rolls through a swarm of enemies as a blue fire. If this is going to be on Game Pass, that's huge. It's a little zoomed out. Inside a dungeon. Eight player co-op. The player fights enemies inside a burning village. Prepare. To return. To hell. Mm -hmm. The player battles a red demon that has black wings. The player battles two black flying dragons. I wonder if you have control of how zoomed in the camera is. Maybe our darkest hour. That sounds like Vigo. Sounds like Vigo, man. Resurrected. Available September 23rd, 2021. Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC. Nope, that's not a game pass. That's fair. I would have been surprised if it was. Hovers near the ground. Text reads, captured in engine. These things. Where did they come from? Okay, in engine, so it's. From what we do to him. So it's not gonna be gameplay. I don't know. Or a real thing yet. my brother. And I would die for him. Dark murky water floods through the village. A woman strangles a man from behind. A man sits on the floor of a cell. The flood crashes against building what walls. What is this? Through the village. A man wearing golden armor waves a torch. A woman walks through a garden. Uh, a carrying a sword and shield charges forward. A man wearing a red I... The flood crashes toward a woman. Don't a quiver of air have any air. idea what this is supposed to be. A child with brown hair wears a red cape adorned with a circular gold pin. The child turns around and looks out over a rocky cliff toward an ocean. Trees and bushes grow atop the cliff. I thought it would be a little dark for Fable. A plague tape. Requiem. Oh. Okay. Sure. Xbox okay. Series X, S, Windows 10 PC, I got to play Xbox that yet. Cloud Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox. I think Games. I have it on my computer. The original. Sure. The following footage has been captured at 4K 60 FPS on Xbox Series X. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. Oh, okay, this is gonna I be. Recognize that voice. Far Cry, I think. Let me ask you a question. Yep. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Oh, Far Cry yes. 6. Sing songs around the fire? Sure, I know just the song. A Ubisoft original. Uh huh. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, a guerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. A woman walks through a village in a jungle. Keep talking. As a stealth operation, I got you covered. A player walking through the jungle shoots a man from behind with an arrow. A man is stabbed with a survival knife. Okay. The player fires a crossbow. A woman twirls a machete. Taking out a high-value target, I have just what you need. The player stands on a flat Sniper. roof in a like village. 
They shoot a sniper huh. rifle at a man in the street below. You wanna blow shit up? Juan Cortez at your service. Oh yeah, got some rockets there. The player throws a grenade at a tanker truck. The truck explodes. A helicopter flies toward a freighter. The player fires a machine gun on the freighter and on a village. Street. It's a little hard to see the people like in the detailed Everybody environment, but it looks what? good. It looks good second. though. Who brought the rooster? <laughs> Whatever you need to get the job done, Danny. A rooster jumps on a man's back. The player shoots down the plane with a rocket launcher. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dude. Yeah, I think these. Oh, flamethrower. Flamethrowers are always fun. The player drives a doom buggy. Far Cry 6. Available October 7th, 20. Oh, October. Okay. <laughs> okay. October. I couldn't remember the release so date. I. So we got the. Console launch exclusive. Riders Republic in September Lucky and. That in October. Monomy Park. Mm, what is this gonna be? An island sits on the horizon of a clear blue ocean. I like that we're getting color. Against rocks and onto the shore of the island. A colorful bazooka-like weapon, a backpack, lies on the ground in a mountain valley. Oh. A smiling red ball of slime pops out of the backpack and looks at it excitedly. Huh? A player runs through the valley carrying the backpack. Round on birds Earth? are sucked into the backpack. The, the hell is this? Cage, sucking puppy bats into the backpack. They shoot the bats into a glass cage. The oh. Runs the atrium, sucking puppy fish into the backpack. Okay. Oh, what do they call the this? The for slime at a group of um, slime rancher. Okay. Slime Rancher 2. A wiggly new adventure begins. Okay. I still haven't played the first one. Chris told me it was good. Xbox Cloud Game. I really got to get around to that. God, there's too damn many games to play. I'm never going to get them all. With Xbox Game Pass. Okay. Game Pass too. Wow. Sure. Console launch exclusive. Full punch. Huh? Welcome back to Shredageddon. Here's a new trick. Let's go. Okay. Snowboarding. Oh. Text reads. All footage recorded in game. A snowboarder wearing a blue snow gameplay past a chalet. A snowboarder wearing a yellow snowsuit rides up a This looks pretty good. Twisting jump. They ride up a steep ramp and jump over a red railing. It all depends on what the control style is going to be. A mint green snowsuit rides up a snowdrift on the side of a building and jumps over the building. A I'm in. Rides across a red railing. I'm interested. A snowboarder wearing a pink snowsuit rides up a ramp and does a backflip. I enjoy a good snowboarding game. Snowboarders wearing red, blue, and yellow snowsuits. Trying to remember who made no, that was EA, that was SSX. Um and tricks as they ride over the hills. Oh, there was wearing an orange jacket and black pants. What the hell was that? Xbox had a snowboarding game at one time. What the hell was it called? Slaloms down a hill. Powder flies behind the snowboarder as they Is that what this is gonna be? A revival of that? A snowboarder through a valley. The sun shines oh, wow. on the mountainous horizon. Oh, do we get to play with snowmobiles? For riders, by riders. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is really good. Holy fluttering whip -whoop. We uh. have a good feeling about December 2021. Xbox Series X. Huh. Windows 10 PC. Xbox Cloud Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Wow. God, how can you not own Game Pass at this point? And a yellow toolbox for a head. Atomic Heart. Mundish. A man with a mohawk hairstyle pounds his fist on a window. A player fires a pistol at a creature in the sky. Okay, montage. What the hell is that? This looks cool, whatever it is. The player fires a machine gun. First person shooter. What the hell is this? The player is 
inside a vehicle. A spaceship hovers above. What? It lifts a car and other debris over a road. A woman with purple hair touches a device on her temple. Wires wrap around her forehead. A robot attacks the player, which then is sent flying into the air. I'm intrigued. For the world of Atomic Heart. Oh. Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Uh, did they give a release date for that? Console launch exclusive. I would. Phoenix. That looks interesting. Red text scrolls quickly up and down. I would play that. Is this super hot? Are written on the monitor. The text disappears and a single red dot flashes. Super. The red hot. dot becomes no. a harvest moon on the horizon of a dense forest. Okay. Branches and leaves blow as several people run through the forest. What is this going to be? An orange light illuminates a wall of real to real tape machines. A man runs through the forest. The red text scrolls. The fire burns beyond the forest. A man's eyes open. He has red pupils. Sad Cat Studios. Uh -huh. A man wearing a red shirt sits amidst ash and rubble. What did he say it was? Still not quite sure what the gameplay is. It's all walks along a street a cinematic. A destroyed building. A man using a cane walks along a street. Ash falls from the sky. Two men fight in a dark alley. One man tosses the other to the ground and shoots him in the back of the head. Ow. A man climbs up a neon sign on the side of a brick hotel. A man fires a gun at enemies in front of large oh, arching windows. 2D. Huh. Replaced. 2022. Xbox Series X. Interesting. X, Windows 10 PC. Xbox Cloud Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox. Okay. Game no old systems for that one. I don't know what Xbox to think of that yet. Presents Obsidian Entertainment. Oh. In the first year of Grounded, millions of I like players Obsidian. get busy with crafting. Oh, is this um? Yeah. What is this called? Because it was an early update. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. Huh? Pass for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, <laughs> mushrooms. But not those kinds. We also got something that literally no one was asking. I can't for. think of the name of this stupid the game. Brood mother. Ew. She's so terrifying. That is a spider. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. <laughs> Even her blob scares the sh out of us. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, uh, I, I still can't think of the name. They'll say it, but. Grounded. Grounded. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. The Shroom and Doom update. Huh. June thirtieth. Okay. That's another one I never got around to playing among yet. Us. Update coming to all available. Ah, Among Us. June okay. 15th. A group of various colored crewmates are gathered inside a small room. Wow, so many games so far. Lobbies. There are three imposters among us. A cyan imposter skewers a crewmate that has a banana on their head. The screen reads, Discuss. A red crewmate floats through outer space. A pink imposter stabs an orange crewmate. A purple crewmate picks up guns. The screen reads, Emergency meeting. Huh? The cyan crewmate shoots a gun. A green crewmate runs down a hallway. Among Us. Coming soon. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Okay. Xbox a lot Series of... X, S. A lot of people will like that. 505 Games, Rabbit and Bear Studio. Oh, what do the 505 make? Oh. 
the dark the heck is it? A staff. I mean, reads, what, hosts, what kind of game is it? Ideals, same Kessel, and their creeds, Marissa. Looks like an RPG of some sort. Because it's super anime. male and female anime style characters and creatures strike heroic poses. Okay. Some kind of... Now it runs across a bridge and stands with a group of people. Game text reads, Lien, you will not believe this. Lien speeds in and crashes into Nawa. Nawa runs huh. through a village and carries a torch through a dark cave. He approaches an underground lake. An archer shoots an arrow. I'm trying to figure a out. A warrior sends a sword into a giant orb. The orb explodes. They make it look flashy, but I don't know if this is turn-based combat or. Get ready for a new war. Okay. Ayudan Chronicle. Hundred heroes. And. Huh. A warrior attacks a red flower-like creature. Ayudan Chronicle Rising, coming 2022. Ayudan Chronicle 100 Heroes, coming 2023. Oh, jeez. Those are a ways out. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Huh. Okay, 2022 and 3. Console Alrighty. Launch exclusive. Well, I've got some RPGs for people. for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. We wish to test your abilities. Team up. Oh, what is this going to be? Rise up. Isometric. And fight. A 2.5D perspective shows futuristic soldiers battling creatures mm. inside a city with lasers and flamethrowers. The Ascent, coming July 29th. Xbox Series X. No, that's soon. X, Xbox One. Windows 10 PC. Xbox Cloud Gaming. Play that one looked a little chaotic. Might be a little hard to see that one. A lot of Xbox particle Game effects and such. The sun shines on the Great Wall of China. History is all around us. A statue of Joan of Arc comes to life. Those who made it have mm. never been forgotten. What the is this going to be? And unsheaths a sword. Their daring choices echo across time, turning land. We still haven't seen Fable or Perfect Dark yet. I wonder if we will. If history was in your hands, what would you build? An overhead perspective depicts a medieval town, an ancient Chinese settlement, and a village within a large wall. Uh, this looks, is this like some sort of like Age of Empires thingy? Where would you go? Fleets of sailing ships, fire cannons near a castle. What would you be remembered for? I mean, these kind of games aren't John Dark. really my jam, but Blue and red it looks good. Flash in a large meadow. If you're into this kind of game, fling boulders into a castle wall. yeah, this has got to be some Age of, em Age of Empires thing, I think. Your legacy. I would suspect as much anyway. Blue and gold armies on horseback gallop toward each other. Make history your story. Age of Empires yep. 4, October 28th. Oh. Age of Empires. oh, wow, a full flat out sequel. PC, Xbox Cloud okay. Gaming. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Ah, okay, interesting. Xbox Game Studios presents Xbox Console Exclusive. Okay, what are we getting? We begin by hearing an old, wise-sounding voice. Oh, is this going to be a quiet, fable? This will make our game seem big and important. <laughs> now. Something must break the serenity. Yep. Will this creature be in the game? No. Say goodbye to it forever. Uh. Suddenly, and for no reason. I have a feeling this. this uh, no? Slow motion shots make everything seem cool and should bolster pre sale numbers. <laughs> That wah sound can mean only one thing. <laughs> I love these types of trailers. Must gaze over an epic shot of a world. The hell is this? And there should be lens flares. Now we see our hero. But only the silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. Or finished the story. Or finished <laughs> any gameplay. 
blade that's actually ready to show. In fact, the uh, only thing they have finished is a logo. Is the title The Outer Worlds 2 Xbox Series X? Oh, Windows okay. PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. Okay, so sure. I'm down with that. I I really that Play game made my with Xbox Game Pass. That game made my PC fan go crazy, so I'm kind of waiting to play Xbox that again until I get a new rig. Xbox console but I started it. I did a video on it, actually, the first game, Outer Worlds. I liked it, what I played. Captured in real-time 4K on Xbox Series X. Trees are silhouetted against a pink sky. A mountain oh, range sits on me. the distant horizon, beyond a forest and lake. Uh, a gray and white seaplane floats in water beside a wooden dock. A propeller rotates on the nose of the plane. Oh, the is this going to be... Soars over hippopotamuses in the water. Oh, I was going to say is that... A what was that flying game? Flies over a rhinoceros on a savanna. A black oh, and this is going to be Flight Simulator. Over an aquamarine ocean. I was going to say Crimson Skies, but... Private jet flies over a nope. Mountain range. Flight Simulator a Console Edition. Orange, black, and silver flies over a beach. An airplane approaches a runway surrounded by tree-lined roads. God, this game does look pretty Airplanes amazing. Airplanes land on water, snow, and on a savanna. A 747 taxis at a variety of airports, then flies above clouds over a sea. Yep, I forgot about this, that this was coming, yeah. displaying the Xbox logo on its wing, dives under a bridge. It's supposed to come out this summer, I think. A black and white For console. Flies upside down. I think July? Two biplanes fly over fields, performing dives and rolls. One biplane is red and white. The other biplane is yellow and black. Three airplanes fly in formation over a city. A small twin-engine plane flies over the city of Paris, the Grand Canyon, the Egyptian pyramids, Mount Fuji, a tropical island, and a snow-capped mountain range. Yeah, it does look like a... I mean, the, the graphically, this game looks... The sky is calling. Pretty amazing. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah. Landing on Xbox Series X, S. Available July 27th, Called it. I knew it was Windows July something. PC, Xbox Cloud Gaming. That Sunlight game would make my... That game would make my... Sails through the ocean. Computer melt. Fighter jets are parked on the deck of the aircraft. Carrier. I wouldn't even try that. The jet off the carrier. Text on the jet reads, Captain Pete Mitchell, Maverick. The jet does a barrel roll um. and flies through a mountain valley. The jet soars above fluffy clouds with the sun setting on the horizon. What is this? Free expansion coming fall 2021. Oh, Top Gun, Maverick. Sea cool. Microsoft Flight Simulator. That'd be fun to fly one of those planes, kind of. More acrobatic flying. Xbox Game Studios presents. I'll so crash and burn exclusive. though. Waves lap gently onto a sandy beach at the base of a rocky cliff. Okay. Palm trees sway. Sunlight shines into a jungle. A mountain stands on a desert horizon. Rain falls into a muddy puddle. A dirt Damn. road winds through a lush mountain valley. If that's Wild in game, holy in Christ. A, cacti. a palm tree grows beside a rocky embankment. If that's in game, that looks Sunlight pretty incredible. A black tail fin on a red AMG sports car. Spoilers oh, Forza? The car speeds down a desert road. Rally trucks race through a Mexican town. Is this going to be Horizon? What is this going to be? It's got to be, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure this has got to be like a Horizon. Maybe... God damn, man. That looks... I mean, driving games always show off new consoles, but... That almost looks photorealistic to me. I mean, that looks really... good. Is this an update of an old, or is there, are they teasing... God, are we going to get a Forza game this fall? Forza Horizon 5. Available November 9th. Holy shit! 
Okay. Day one with Xbox Game Pass. Wow. Okay. Hello, I'm Mike Brown, creative director at Playground Games. I'm kind of surprised about to that, actually. We've been working on. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is okay. the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. And oh, there is no please better mention to accessibility. than the stunning AMG Project One Forza Edition. Ooh, that does look pretty sick. detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power oh, of the Xbox Series consoles. I kind of want to get a Series X now. I mean, just there's so many games that look amazing. I invited along some of the team to help give you a taste of some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. If this would be Please accessible, Bill, I would lose Maddie, my mind. Sierra and Don from the Forza team. Like an hey, open Mike. world. Hey guys, what's up? Hey everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico oh, to explore neat. new locations okay. and discover places for the festival to expand. I'm on the river now. Now this is Whoa. actual gameplay. There Holy shit, this How's looks... expedition going? I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. A beige SUV speeds along a muddy jungle road. I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida Alps, man. Holy Christ, this Rami looks Rami good. Rami. This city is still a jewel of Mayan architecture. That's a peek at our adventurous campaign. But Forza Horizon has always been a game. I was trying to see if they had the purpose. arrows on the road, though. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. Yeah. The scene looks real. It does. There are no this is in game. Maddie wow. Is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert, the perfect place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Okay, I'm trying to look for the the racing Thanks line. The next generation of our Horizon Live Looks service. like they don't Everyone have it on just for immersion. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other members of the Forza team. The AMG moves around vehicles and races down the two lanes. Man. Let's leave Maddie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this idyllic seaside town. Whoa. This is a recreation Dodge of the honest, authentic, and filled with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Oh, hey, what's up? This is a mural by Mexican artist Farid Rueda. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over. Crash the through it! Oh, wait, no, that's not Burnout. Whoa, you know, we got clipped by that car, dude. While Don drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera volcano. Check out this geology detail. This implemented year. with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured okay. on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Now we got dune buggies, man. Volcano, Sierra and friends are Hell yeah. The highest point ever in a Horizon game. Now you're and speaking my language. The, the Xbox Series consoles. From up here, we can see for miles in every direction. In the distance, we can just about first person mode. Ooh. Let's take a closer look. Guanajuato is one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. It's a colorful, undulating city full of vibrant architecture. It even has a sprawling network of tunnels. And these Ooh. twisting, turning, overlapping streets I mean, that as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, The Eliminator. Oh, While wow. Don tries to win that race, the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is known for its uplifting beauty, and using our unique HDR camera rig, 
we captured 24 hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. Jesus. And thanks to the Xbox Series <laughs> consoles, these photorealistic skies result in lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, making you feel like you're really there. Look at those water effects, man. Here's Maddie again. She's joined by Abraham and some other members of the team. Our players are using Forza Link, the new AI assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and the people you meet online, and then helps you link up and play together. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill. I really want to know. I hope that the arrows yeah, stand out. Volumetric lighting system, filling the scene with God rays. Because even in the, the older games, forest. even though it had arrows. About to start. With the lighting, it would blend in. I found that hard in Forza Horizon 4 a little bit. And they're seamlessly linked together with their GPS route set. With that Horizon Arcade minigame starting soon, all of our players are coming together. This minigame is called Pinata Pop. Signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of pinatas. Jeep. Ooh, over this way. Gotta catch up to you guys. Our players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. <laughs> okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look at the bushes here. There's some between the houses. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more over here. Sweet. <laughs> this looks fun. While the team grabbed those last few pinatas, we're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. An SUV drives through giant bowling Uh, this yes. Is event lab. The incredible new tool set that allows you to create your own races, game modes, and gameplay experiences. Wow. You customize Ooh. everything right down to uh, the fundamental. Down to a bowling of the alley. The off ramps. Off the black circle and twists through the what? Air Other vehicles fly over it. This looks insane. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world we've God, ever built. God, and this is Game Pass? And it will truly be an astounding showcase for wow. the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this November 9th. Wow. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in Mexico later this year. Fluffy clouds. Sure. Asphalt road amidst a I'll try it. I just hope those arrows stand out better. Team Xbox is on a mission to bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone wow. on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, are at the center of everything we do. Today, we showed you 30 games. 27 of them mm. will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Now, through the end of the That's year, crazy. you can look forward to back-to-back -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass, led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios as well as highly anticipated games. I can't even remember like all the games. Blood, 12 minutes. Oh, and yeah. Consent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. No Wolfenstein. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively mm. next year. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, the Elder Scrolls Online, yeah, Fallout Fable. 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. No perfect dark. Is there, is there going to be a one more thing? Multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo. They got to have a one more thing. Adding to the roster of right? iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and Doom. Okay, well, they acknowledged the it. Epic open world racing game, Forza Horizon 5. That does look pretty Bringing insane. A vibrant and authentic depiction of Mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen. While the team at Turn 10 Damn. is hard at work on the next Forza Motorsport. Sure. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Xbox has been here for 20 years, and that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most Yeah, I think the Square Enix thing has started already. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's yes. one more thing. Yes, one more thing. What's take it going to be? At this brand new original game from the arcane team at Bethesda, the Ooh. studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Oh. Arcane created something new for them, 
an open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. And you like Starfield, have my interest. this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Ooh. Bill Spencer, head of Xbox. You have my attention, sir. A woman with curly brown hair sits on a convenience store counter, reading a book. The book magically hovers. She tosses the book <laughs> over her shoulder. Bethesda Softworks presents an Arcane Austin production. The heck is that? Some robot thingy. What is this going to be? Come on, make yourself useful. A raven flies off the shoulder of a hooded man standing beside a broken storefront window. So, uh, that was fun. <laughs> Earlier, a glowing red orb explodes in a street. That's your cue, mate! The man magically appears wielding a rifle. Sweet touch! Okay, it's all cinematic. There's no gameplay yet, but You think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, asshole. The woman shoots a man wearing a ski mask. Damn. Over her shoulder. She's got ginormous hair. Holy crap. The wall of flames. He holds another man and takes a bite out of his neck. The vampire grins sinisterly and drops his victim. Oh. Another vampire appears. Okay. How do we always get into this shit? How they got into this bleep? <laughs> that can't be the title. Field, in Redfall, Massachusetts. Behind me, we are witnessing clear signs of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! The bleep. Really hope the video was okay. This looks nuts. Whoa. Are we gonna get a Robin freezes a vampire with a blue laser? Dev shoots a stake into the frozen vampire. It explodes. Whatever the hell this is, it looks cool. It a female vampire lifts Robin by the neck. Robin Ooh. the female vampire with a stake. The vampire explodes into a cloud of burning air. Yes, she did. God, her hair is huge. The hooded man, Jacob, is knocked down on a rooftop. Shit. Gonna love this one. Jacob looks up at a vampire with bright red hair. The vampire fires Whoa. a red energy beam around Layla, the curly haired woman's leg. You better have a plan, Jacob! Yep. Don't miss. <laughs> Layla blasts. I really want to see actual gameplay. I mean, this cinematic stuff is cool, but. A small yellow robot with two legs tackles the vampire through the window of the convenience store. Jacob, Layla, Robin, and Dev carry their weapons into the store. Fade to black. Cut to black. Yeah, I think there's a vampire in this. Really? What does it taste like? Be specific. It's like an open world vampire left for dead? This out. A bald vampire with claws gazes at a swirling <coughs> portal in the sky. Red ball. Summer 2022. Learn more at huh. Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Series X, Dang. Windows 10 PC. Sure. Redfall, Xbox exclusive. Okay. 
Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. God, that's insane. There's so many games that you don't even have to buy. Oh, they're showing that trailer again. There's going to be a sizzle reel. I think, yep. Halo. The biggest and most diverse games lineup in Xbox history. Yeah, they, you know. In Microsoft Flight Simulator. The family dodges metal stakes. And, and there's still stuff they haven't even really, hardly acknowledged. So there's still stuff for next year. Yeah, we got the Jack Sparrow stuff. In like a week and a half. Snowboarding. When is it? They didn't give a release date for that, did they? The most incredible gaming experiences on console. An SUV. Oh yeah, Far Cry. Far Cry yeah. Six. Lightning destroys creatures in Diablo 2. Oh Lightning yeah. Sucked into the backpack in Slime Rancher 2. The dog knocks out the gorilla and dinosaur in Party. I still don't know about that game. That looks weird. An Aiden and Chronicles 100 Heroes. These chase a girl and ground it. A soldier holds up his fist and back for blood. A Dead ship sails back to see a Man. Over 20 games coming day one to Xbox Game Pass. Vehicles race through the town in Forza Horizon 5. Armies clash in Age of Empires 4. I, the of they the did what they needed to do. I think. A new generation of gaming awaits. Forza Horizon 5. Battlefield 2042. Halo Infinite. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life, Age of Empires, oh God, Four, yeah. wow. Wars 2, Stalker 2, Far Cry 6, Among Us. Yeah, and way more, because they flashed, like, even more. Thanks for watching. Wow. Okay. Uh... A soft white light glistens on glowing uh... orbs. Golden nuggets flow. What? Introducing... Oh, are they... For the first time in Xbox history. I thought it was over. A new system leaves others cold. The black rectangular prism spins over an ocean. Oh, a little... Xbox logo illuminates on the corner of the prism. The prism slowly opens, revealing a neon green interior. Oh, the fridge! The world's most powerful. It's gonna be the fridge! Mini fridge. <laughs> I knew it! Yes. Green cans fill the inside of the prison, which is <laughs> oh man. This is really happening. The Xbox logo glows. The mini fridge door closes. The top of it glows neon green. Xbox mini fridge. Xbox and chill. Holiday 2021. I kind of want that. Xbox. I don't know where I would put it. I don't know that I need it, but I kind of want it. Depends how much it is, but... Oh, that's great. I knew when they when they cracked it open, I knew that was going to be their fridge. And I knew, yeah. Nice. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Square is well started already. We can maybe check in, but if it's in the middle, we'll just uh, stop the recording uh, or the, the streaming here. But... Boy, um, that's only one event, and I have like three, four more to go today. So tomorrow's video is going to be, ooh, there's going to be a lot to cover. So I think they did a good job. I think they, uh, I think Microsoft and uh, Bethesda, 30 games, and like I said, I can't even remember them all, but there's good variety, you know, shooters and snowboarding and racing and... 2D and phew, I can't even remember. So, yeah, let me see here. Uh, we got our E3 schedule. Schedule. La 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 la. Square Enix. Let's see that one. Um, yeah, we're okay. We're in the middle, so. I'm going to close that for now. Uh, we are going to wrap it up here because uh, I don't want to just dump, you know, just go right into a, in the middle of another one. So, yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I will be back with some more thoughts later. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, solid showing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I'll chat with everybody again later.